All right, guys, welcome back <clears throat> to problem four from the fundamentals. All right, so again, very similar to the previous one. All right, we're going to be determining the moment transferred by this force over to the pivot point O. Okay, so let's see, how do we do it? Well, by now, Actually, so luckily in this problem, they give you a force that's directed in the y direction only. So you don't have to break any force down into the x or y component, okay? The tricky part is that they give you this, uh, you know, this length of 3 uh, with some 45 degree angle. But not to be afraid since we already did this in the last video, we already know how to do this part. Okay, so we know that... They're pretty much giving us the hypotenuse of this this triangle here. Okay. So we know that this side is going to be again. This is the angle with the horizontal. So we know that this is going to be three cosine forty five. Okay. And then this angle over here, I mean this side, is going to be three sine. 45. Okay, and we know that those two are equal since cosine and sine are the same. Well, cosine 45 and sine 45 are the same. Okay, so now what distance do I have to move the line of action over a force of 600 so it intersects with, the, with point O? Okay. Well, it's going to be this four feet plus this little bit, right? So it's going to be this plus four gives you the total distance of, uh, of something. Gives you this total distance, okay? So then how do we calculate that? Well, all right, that's a uh, net moment about O, okay? It's going to be... 600, okay, times, okay, let's do our distance, it's going to be 4 plus, 4 plus, okay, 4 plus something, and so it's going to be 4 plus 3 cosine 45 minus 1 foot, okay, because this, this whole length is, you know, 3 cosine 45, so 3 square root of 2 over 2, okay? But then we're 1 foot over to the left of that, okay? So it's going to be this minus, uh, let's do it in some colors, minus this chunk over here, okay? So get rid of that, and then we're going to be left with this part, okay? And this is the, this, this part is going to be 3 cos 45 minus that blue which is just one okay and that gives you that little red distance okay so it's gonna be four plus three cosine 45 minus one let's just leave it in parentheses even though it doesn't matter okay and that's pretty much it for this problem right now let's just determine the direction so we know again line up your fingers yeah you know, your index finger or you hold all your fingers in your right hand along the direction of the 600 right and then let them fall towards O okay so which way does it want to fall it wants to fall in the counterclockwise direction so then this will be positive okay and also you know that if you push this up you're gonna make it rotate Go towards the wall in like you know in, in this motion okay so let's see what this gives us it's gonna be 3 times cosine 45 minus 1 plus 4 times 600 and that is 3,000 so I'm gonna leave it as 3,073 pound foot. Okay. And that's it. Okay.
So by now you've been able to identify how to break forces down into x and y. You've been able to identify what is the distance that you need to multiply your force in order to compute the moment transferred to a certain pivot point, which is by shifting the line of action over a certain distance. Okay, And we know how to break down distances into x and y components if we need it. Okay, so That's all statics. That's all you're going to be doing. All right. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next video.